Hey everyone, welcome back to uh, Driver Watch Systems YouTube page. Here we're going to do a quick video on adding a new users uh, into the system uh, and how we go about doing that. So uh, what we'll do first is go ahead and log into the Driver Watch Systems fleet tracking and management page here. That will bring us into our dashboard. And then from here, what we want to do, uh, top right corner next to the username, we have our tools and settings button here, the gear button. So we're going to go ahead and left click on that, choose tools and settings. And that's going to bring us into our client tools here. We're going to scroll all the way to the bottom to our security tools. Here is the, uh, the first choice is create users and manage permissions. So we'll go ahead and left click on to create users. That's going to bring us into our security users and groups here. Uh, on the left-hand side, we have our security users and security groups. Uh, first things first, we're doing our users. Here are our current users right now for this platform. Uh, we'll come over here to add new user. Left-click over top of add new user. That's going to pull up a new menu here on the screen where we will just go ahead and type in uh, our uh, username, first and last name, which will be our test person. So that will make their username and login test person password uh, you're going to need an uppercase lowercase letter within the password then you're going to have to uh, confirm the password if they're not the same it will recognize that uh, we're going to need an email address for this person so we'll use testperson at gmail.com uh, the activation date for this of course we'll, we can use today's date and then we also allow you to deactivate an account. So if you wanted to give someone account, uh, act, or, uh, account access for just a limited time, uh, with just for say a month, we could just choose a month and have it end on the 16th. So after the 16th at 11.50 in the morning, they would not be able to log in after that. Uh, if you did not want to have to worry about that, you are able to just go ahead and leave that blank. And then what do you want them to see when they first log in? The map, dashboard, or track grid. We just want them to see the dashboard when they initially log in. Uh, we'll leave, just make a standard session is fine. We can go ahead and email them their credentials from here. Uh, and then once we click save, that will go ahead and take effect. Uh, this person has now been added. Now what we need to do though is go ahead and once I clicked on their test person on the uh, account name here, uh, it, it uh, gave me the option of making them a power user or just a, a user. A uh, user has uh, just read only uh, admin rights in the account so they are not able to go in and change settings and such whereas power users are able to go ahead and go in and change things uh, so we can just go ahead and keep them as a power user and we can go ahead and click save bottom right corner uh, now that has been saved now what we want to do, going back into our menu options here, left hand side, the four parallel bars, we'll go down to our security tools. Now we want to manage the user group access for this, uh, this person, manage user group access. So we'll left click on top of that. Now what this does, this allows you to limit what vehicles this person, this user sees. Uh, so I went ahead, we, I, I clicked on the uh, person, test person's name here. That gives us our groups, our four groups here. Now if we wanted to allow them to only see one group, then that's what we would just go ahead and click on that one group. If you want them to have access to all of the groups, we can go ahead and just click off all of them. So we'll just go ahead and eliminate the sales team here so they can only see three of the groups when they log in. Uh, now from here we want them, we can also go ahead and dig down into it and say, well which vehicles do we want them to see? We want them to see the service vehicles drilling team and one and demo one, uh, but they don't need to worry about vehicle two. So they will not be able to see any information for vehicle two. So now we go ahead and anytime that we make a change, we want to go ahead and click save and it says success, so that person uh, has now been added. So if I refresh this screen, uh, the associated groups then will populate next to this person's name. So as you can see, they are different. Drilling team service, or, or there, so there are limited uh, to which groups they are able to see. Uh, so boom, that is it as far as the uh, adding a person and managing what groups they are able to see. Now let's say you wanted to uh, for some reason lock out a particular user. You have a user that you don't want to allow access anymore but you don't want to go ahead and delete them from the system uh, because they already have reports set up, they have uh, uh, 
just different things already established within, you know, in the system that you don't want to delete. So you are able to go ahead and slide them over into a lockout situation so that you won't, they won't be able to see anything uh, until they are unlocked. So we would just go ahead and go ahead and click bottom right corner, uh, lockout user. Uh, but we'll go ahead and just slide this person back over here into the uh, locked, uh, unlocked status. Now, if we wanted to delete a user, again, we would click on our four menu bars here, come to security tools, create users and manage permissions, come back into this original screen where we were originally. Uh, we are able to go in here on our test person, and then we once that has been highlighted, we just slide over here to the left of the garbage can, and we say uh, delete. And it's asking us to confirm the delete. Yes, go ahead and confirm that action and confirm and boom that person has now been deleted uh, so they have been removed from the system and their access would no longer uh, be allowed but all their settings and everything that we had changed is also gone as well that was the significance of the lockout group uh, so cool thanks for taking the time to watch the video any uh, questions comments concerns uh, want to see how your company can benefit from a GPS tracking system for their fleet feel free to give us a call uh, or visit our website soon thank you so much